Hello everyone, my name is Nikolai Hunt and welcome to Friday Night Fright. We're back to playing the Sorrow Virus. We're going to get the final two endings. We're going to go back and explore the door that we found in the wall with the key. <clears throat> so I have to play through the whole story again to get to that point. But we'll figure it out from there. And I know I need to pay close attention to the symbols where the dolls are hanging in Purgatory. It'll make more sense when I play it through. I'm going to cut out a lot of the story because obviously... Uh, there's three previous playthroughs of this game. Here. I want it here. There's three previous playthroughs of this game already on my channel. And uh, you just gonna have to refer that to those because not much of the story changes. So I just want to get into the meat. <clears throat> so, yeah, all this orange goop is here. I wish I could go back and, and play through this correctly because there's four different ways that this room looks. Um, these creepy guys aren't laying around as soon as you, this orange goop is not here. If you look, you see sanity, sanity levels immeasurable. So, uh, I kind of flubbed up on the playthrough. I wonder if that, oh, I don't need to touch him. No, the door is not there right now. Okay, so we actually have to play through the entire game. I'm going to cut out the part where I go through Purgatory and I make it to Wakeland City and I go through the, the ritual and everything and um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then what are you doing here? What are you doing here? There... There are like five more videos for you to watch that explain everything. Let me pause this. And yes, I'm wearing the Pizza Planet shirt again because I think it looks good and I, I really like this shirt. Alright, we are in Purgatory. Make sure, okay, he's there. I'm glad I turned around. Ugh, I hate birds. Okay, so yeah, so the symbols... I need a combination for this. Yeah, so I need to pay close attention to these symbols as I'm going through. Hey, girly. How are you? Whew! Somebody messed up that toilet. Yeah, I don't want to hear about you and your problems. She's still there? Okay, she's gone. So it's the V with the creepy thing. Okay. Got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that out. Okay. No, come on. Okay. And now it's basically just the playthrough. So obviously there's the meeting Cassandra Noble. I don't know that I have to do that. Um, so I'm not going to do it yet. All right, so here's the second big doll. Once she gets out of the way, I definitely just saw a skeleton. Okay, so that's the second symbol, and yeah, that is a skeleton. Why did you kill me? Ugh, these things are so creepy. There he is. So hopefully if we go away and come back. Well, I can kind of see the symbol he's on. Okay, there's the last one circle with spikes on the bottom. All right, and now we head to Wakeland City. Now here's an Easter egg <laughs> at the Wakeland City Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria. <laughs> I love that.
here. If you'll remember, in the last video, because you've watched it by now, we got to this door and I walked in. I was like, no, I don't want to mess up the other ending. What? I know you're in there somewhere. I know you can hear me. This isn't your fault. It's mine. It's okay, darling. I forgive you. I hope that you can forgive me. Did we just get strangled to death? Okay, so that's where that goes back to. So we're back at... That's the way to Wakeland City. It's covered by a bookcase now. This is where the lady screamed. So this is how we get back to the door with the symbols. Got it. Okay, so we're we're in. Hello. Okay. I look forward to meeting you, Daniel. Alice was the one who kept telling me your name while I was asleep. That's why I kept seeing your name in Purgatory. A jumbled version of it anyway. Even though we've never met, it means so much to me that you want to come and help, even after what my parents did to you. We're in the same boat now, sailing in a sorrowful sea with mountain high waves in the distance. It seems unlikely that we'll make it, but you give me hope, and hope never dies. Elijah, I'm Nikolai Hunt. I nice the last of the sorrow virus to Daniel North to eradicate every single trace of the being to ensure we can live the rest of our lives in peace. I only fear that this may not end well for the both of us. I have been exposed to a trace amount of the sorrow virus, and it has I don't look forward to the outcome for me. Daniel, however, is in extreme danger. He could end up in purgatory if he is But as long as the being is destroyed, there's no going back now. One way or another, this is how it ends. Excuse me? I'm sorry? Ma'am, have I disturbed you? What? What's going on? Why is everything melting? Hello? But... Oh, 
I got an ending. Thank you. I got an ending. Yeah, this is the end. What? That's why it so degrades in a repeatedly withering and healing body. He is trapped in purgatory and lost the time until so it's corrupted his years. That why he returns purgatory remnant. Destined to return to the home long forgotten. That's the same picture. And everything, our darling son, our magnum opus. Painted by Renee Hale. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. I'm... I'm scared. You should be. Okay, so that is the Remnant ending. And, um, I've been recording for an hour. Uh, but I have a bad feeling that I've only got about 10 minutes worth of content. So, we're going to go find the true ending. Uh, and I'm assuming I just need to go talk to Cassandra and maybe it'll give me some different instructions or something. But I'll be back. There's no going back now. One way or another, this is how it ends. I sure hope that this is the, the right way. I set her free. So... No, that's not it. That was the code for the other thing. Okay, please don't knock me back. Yes! You've done it! <gasps> Maybe I'll see you again one day, Wyatt. Yes! I only hope that staying in purgatory for a good few years allows for you to heal. But good. You can come back from this. You can recover. I promise you that I will do whatever it takes to ensure that you have a chance at living a normal life. All of this will become nothing but a blur of memory, I swear it. I'll be right back. Aha! Yeah. Found that out with my big brain. Definitely didn't look it up or anything like that. What? Oh my goodness! Who are you? I don't feel like you're friendly. I kept Elijah Gray in the following grace asylum for a good few years. He grew mad after this sister Eliza. He was one of my first patients, despite me. willingly. This mania and vision self yeah, read along with me. I know y'all don't want to hear me read all of this, or do you? Let me know in the comments. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, back to who the heck are you? Oh, that's the Soul Renderer. I remember seeing him. I don't like seeing him. Oh, I'm, nope. Dang it. Thought I was through the wall. He's in my room. Did he render my soul? Okay. Alright, I reckon we go back out here. Oh, cutscene? <gasps> Northern Lights? Oh, <gasps> no way. No way. Oh, I was sitting down and looking at the mountains and the Northern Lights and the dandelions flying in the wind. Oh, this is so this is beautiful. The graphics in this game, top tier. And I don't even have them set all the way up because I don't think my computer can handle it, but... Are you taking me to the, the pretty lady? Angel? Thing? No? Oh, there she is. Oh no, her boobie's out. Ma'am, you're not covering the... <laughs> Oh gosh, that's the... What? Oh, it's a half moon tonight. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, here we go. Oh, there's no tentacles going across the floor this time. 
instilled with confidence, finally meeting Daniel North, Wyatt Hell spends three years in purgatory and his afflictions disappear. Wyatt returns to life and finds himself in a dark and unforgiving world ravaged by awakened anomalies. I don't think that's good. That, that doesn't sound good. Hey, buddy. How you doing? The true ending. Ending foe for foe. Free. I'm free. That is beautiful. They're gone! Oh, we're getting a- oh, okay, okay. Cool! You're wasting your life. Your wife's still alive? Thank you for playing, Watchmaker Team. Adam Clark? Blah, blah, blah. Yes, all of you did good jobs. Created by Adam Sklar. Okay, wait a second. Sklar Light. Well, okay, so yeah, that's who that's who commented on my video. That, that's awesome. That was fun. It was a good game. I do overall like the story. My only problem is I'm gonna I'm gonna close this, guys. I'm sorry. Set yourself free. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, okay. That's it. Gotcha. Yes, I'm sure I won't quit. So, overall, I enjoyed my, my time. My biggest complaint with that game was replaying the same thing over and over. And part of that's my fault for... Uh, there were technically different stories every time, but, but every time the baseline of the story was light these candles, click these clocks, uh, go through this passage, which hasn't changed much. There's stuff on the floor now, but it was a very small team of developers. I can get behind that. What I really liked about it was the, the presence of this is a horror game. But at the same time, as all you know about my, my Choo Choo Charles videos, um, I'm not huge on horror games. <laughs> I actually prefer the games that aren't as scary. And that one was like, I might jump out and scare you. And it did twice. And I got pissed both times. But overall, it was more about the story than it was the scares. And I am very appreciative of that. I, I do wish that at least when you go talk to Cassandra Noble, it changed a little bit more. I mean, it was the same game. Going for, you know, the, the first, the one in, endings one and three, the forever ending and the, and the remnant ending. Um, you know, I understand those being the same playthroughs. Obviously you get the key and you go back for the remnant ending and that's different. But what I didn't like about the Phil side and the atrophied ending were you were playing the same game. You know, all you did was read the notes and, and put it in the combination lock to go talk to Cassandra and nothing else changed. Really. I mean, it was, hey, now you know the the symbols and sigils book. That's my only complaint about it. That's really my only complaint about it was that it was very repetitive in that sense. But other than that, I love the game. Um, I think you know, obviously, it's been out for a while. Uh, a lot of people have had the chance to play it. I do hope that this video finds people that haven't heard of it before. I know I've talked with Alec uh, earlier, and he's, he had never heard of the game before. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed the story, and I look forward to playing more games like that that come from small developers. I, I love small teams of, of guys that... Well, and, gals that create something like this thank you everybody so much for watching this video let me know what you think down in the comments below like comment subscribe you know all the rest god bless and i look forward to hearing from you in the next video